Steady Boys and Step Together, the St. Mary's College, an institution that prides itself on tuning out men of exceptional caliber, from the likes of current Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, ex-Prime Minister Sir John Compton, and Nobel Prize winner Derek Walcott. The venerable all-boys school has been the number one choice for many male students looking to enter into secondary school. However, a viral video of an unsavory incident has elicited a visceral reaction from the public with calls for answers on what seems like a case of bullying caught on tape. The video that was circulated a very unfortunate incident for the entire school community. Of course, you know that St. Mary's College stands on the principle of, of, of discipline, respect for school rules and regulations. And, and certainly, those are not the values that we teach our young men. Principal of the St. Mary's College Secondary School, Don Howell, is cautioning the public against jumping to conclusions. The matter is under investigation, and rest assured that we are dealing with this matter thoroughly. We have to continue to assist our boys and to, to, to guide them, help them to deal with things in, in a proper way. All those boys are, 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 are intelligent boys who, who under normal circumstances don't give trouble at school. And so we, 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 we have to correct them. We have to correct them. We cannot tolerate that, that, that kind of, of behavior, but we must also guide them. And, and, and not jump to conclusions. The St. Mary's College is currently embroiled in a legal battle with one parent over grooming standards after his son's access to class was reportedly restricted by the school principal over his hairstyle. The father, who is a lawyer by profession, has filed a claim in courts arguing that his son's right to an education has been adversely affected. A recent court-ordered injunction has allowed the young man to return to class while the matter is fleshed out in the legal system. Howell contends that discipline is paramount at the institution. We continue to, to insist to them that with all the intelligence, with all the skills, um, discipline is also an important part of it. And so I, I want to continue to ask the general public, our parents, to, to, to work with us as we continue to guide our young men. The viral video was swiftly followed by an online apology. We have to ensure that we maintain discipline. Or else if we allow um, the, the regulations to be broken, we'll just have lawlessness. But we, 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 we know, and I'm not surprised, that that is why an apology video was also issued by the young man because he knows that the values that 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 have been taught at the school and 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 would have recognized that this is not um, the 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 way of a Sumerian. Howell says that an investigation has been launched into the matter, inclusive of the use of cell phones while on school premises. The principal hopes that the student body's performance at the CXC exams and in sports are not overshadowed by the recent controversies. Sula Jalfred, HTS News Force.